Hello, this is Pinky, and this will be a tutorial on the GoGo Loco Quality of Life Edition for your VRChat avatars. So to get started, we are going to hit this free download button, and we are going to unpack our zip that we get given. So we have these three files here. Now the next step is when you are opening up your avatar in the Creator Companion, if you do not know what this is, uh, check out my last video. You want to make sure that you scroll down and that you install the Avatars 3.0 Manager. This will be extremely important for merging parameter layers, which we'll, we, we will need for Google Loco. So we are going to click Add here, and then we are going to open the project. This will take a little bit of time, so I may speed this up. Now that we are in our project, what we are going to do is we are going to get to our avatar here and we are going to open up this folder from earlier. We are going to drag our Unity package into our project. This will import the Unity package. You will just wait a little bit for this to import as there's many things to do. And you will now have this, which is the GoGo -Go folder. Now we want to open up this and go inside the loco and we're going to go to the Go prefabs and we're going to grab this prefab here. We're gonna drag it onto our avatar, and then we're going to unpack completely. So the first step will be going to our collider here, which is inside the fly, and we are going to wanna to set this right here, this constraint, as the head armature. So we're going to open up our avatar over here. We're going to go all the way to head, and we're going to drag this in here and click activate. Now for the next one, we are going to go to the third person, and with these two, we're gonna head over to the head. We're gonna hit add a component and we're going to grab the scale constraint and we're going to add this to our avatar. Now we're going to hit this two times and we are going to drag in head small and head big and we are going to set head big as zero and we're going to hit activate. Now that we have added our prefabs into our avatar, the next part will be merging our layers together. So if we head over to our playable layer section, what we're going to start off with is we're going to go to the base and we are going to make sure we add the go loco and we're going to make sure that we are adding the base so we're going to go base and as you can see go base right defaults so the difference between these two is whether or not your avatar is right defaults uh, to check this you can use the tool uh, mentioned earlier right here vr labs but i already know mine is right default so i'm going to select this package I'm going to repeat this for all the other layers. So we go to additive, right defaults, gesture, gesture, right defaults, sitting, uh, sitting, right defaults, T pose, T pose, and the right defaults one. Now, as you can notice, we are still missing two. So if you're using the laydown from my last tutorial, I would recommend just completely removing this action layer and instead importing the go go loco action layer so go loco action right here right defaults uh, if you do have something in your action that you need i would recommend manually cloning and moving it over or you could use a tool to do such and just delete unnecessary things but anyways i have the go loco action here and now with the fx we're going to want to merge this so we're gonna go over to VR Labs and our Avatar 3.0 Manager. We're going to drag our Avatar Prefab into here and we are going to find the layer we wanna merge. So in this case, it's FX. So I'm gonna open up this. And as you can see, if I scroll down, I can add animator to merge. So I click on this and then I click on the layer I wanna add. So I wanna go, go loco. And I wanna make sure that I'm adding the FX and it has to be the right one. So I'm adding the broke right here there are three versions there's beyond broke and base so broke will have the most features in it and it's the one i would use but if you want some just normal features or only scaling and whatnot you would use these but i'm using the uh all-in-one package so i'm going to select that and just scroll through all this it doesn't really matter and i'm going to merge on current and as you can see it is successfully merged over so if we go over to our right default section and we have a scroll through this we should see that everything should be set up properly.
and it looks like it is. So after that is done, we are going to close this and we are going to press play. We're going to grab our gesture manager, which should be here. We're going to drag this here. Now, before pressing play fully, we need to make sure that we add it to our parameters and our menu or else we will have no control over it. So to get started with the menu, go over here, add control, make sure that you set this as a sub menu. I'm going to call this go and I'm going to make sure I click here and go. And we will find the menu that pertains to us. So this is go broke menu loco uh, menu right here. So this is the one we want to select. Uh, yours may be between go beyond menu or go all, but I'm choosing the go broke again. So now that that has been set, we will go to our avatar and we will go our, to our parameters. And this is the next step. We will need to merge this. So again, using the same tool from earlier, we're going to click on this button. And as you can see, if I drag my avatar here, it should show the parameter that I have. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to go parameters to copy and I'm going to click go broke parameters and I'm going to click copy parameters. And as you can see on the side here, it has copied over all the parameters we need. It's a lot easier than manually adding them. So now that this is all done, if we click play, we should see our avatar work successfully. And as you can see, our avatar is now the base height of um, 25%. But if I go to the go menu and I go into the experimental tab and go to the scale, as you can see, you can now scale your avatar and in game, this works. I will actually cut to me using this in game. Hello. Now that we are inside of VR chat, you can see we have our go menu and inside of here, we have all our options. Now to go to the scaling, we want to click down here and click over the experimental. And as you can see, there's the scale option. So this is a 100% working scale option within the game. And as you can see, I have actually scaled. There's really no bugs with my eyes or anything. And I can also go super small. And this can also combine with other features like the float and the lay down gestures that is included in this package. But as you can see, there is the float or the scale mechanic. But one warning is if you are inside of VR and you use this, make sure you read this. Basically what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna scale to your height that you wanna use, say this, and your head may still be down there. So what you wanna do is you wanna click back, 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 go to options, then go to your OSC and click this on and off and it will reset your avatar, which will keep the scale at the same height. But what it will do is it will reset your viewpoint to up here. Anyways, this has been a tutorial on how to add scaling to your avatar, as well as a bunch of other fun features. Thank you for watching. This is Pinky. Have a good rest of your day.